Good morning and welcome to I Like to Talk to Myself's channel. Yes, One Lonely Farmer. Uh, I don't actually talk to myself. I talk to people all over the place and uh, you guys included. So this is, uh, what the hell is the date? Today is December 29th. December 29th, uh, I believe 1981, was the day that my grandfather died. I was nine years old. When he died, it was my grandmother Grace, my father's mother's husband, my father's father. Uh, he died uh, on the steps at the house. Uh, I guess he died of a massive heart attack. He was a smoker. So if you smoke a lot and you're watching his channel, give up the habit now. Your life isn't worth a few puffs of nicotine smoke. Uh, and, you know, that's just the way I feel about that. I don't smoke. I've never smoked. I mean, I've smoked a cigarette here and there, and I even smoked a cigar once when I was in high school, and that didn't go down too well with my girlfriend at the time. She was not a happy camper about that, so cigarettes kill, so give it up. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, and why would you want the government to have your tax money anyway? Them bastards just piss it down a rat hole. So, yeah, just the way it is. I'm drinking my coffee. I haven't really woken up yet. Mmm. But I am drinking my coffee. So yesterday was a very wet, nasty, miserable shit of a day. I did manage to get two loads of hay out, but, you know, out and sold, gone. Uh, pushed up, I don't know, seven piles of spent compost into a one large pile. Which I don't know that that was the best or smartest thing to do, to be quite honest with you. Uh, it, it, it really turns to a dog shit consistency. So, I figured I would actually answer some questions on this channel because I don't generally do this. I don't answer questions on this uh, channel. So, I'm going to go to the comment section on my dashboard. Now, that covers all kinds of questions from all kinds of viewers and all kinds of views. Um... How do I order a few shirts, Wes? Well, the shirts that are on the website, are it is totally outdated. I mean, this shirt here, this design, this design is here, but this type of print is no longer available. And I know there was a, a young lady who had purchased a, a, vid, a, a shirt for her boyfriend or good friend, and uh, it came through as the new style, which I find to be much better. But she didn't see it that way. Uh, and she was complaining that uh, I needed to uh, refund her the money. So, and how would I go about doing that? So I explained to her, I'll refund you your money as soon as you send me the shirt. Because there's people out there in the world that want a refund without returning the item that they were not happy with. And I'd be more than happy to return the money with the shipping cost. At my cost, the shipping cost, uh, I thought that I made it quite clear in the past or, you know, before Christmas many times that the website is outdated. It is now embroidery, not screen print or heat transfer. Uh, those failed miserably. Anybody that's gotten those shirts, uh, if they were the, uh, the screen printed ones, you'd be very happy with what you got. If they were the... Uh, the heat transfers, they, they failed miserably. They peeled off within a week. I mean, they were just terrible. So anyway, uh, you can go to my website and order a shirt. It is going to look like this, but it's not going to have anything on the back. It'll be on the sleeve then. There'll be two logos on that. So people get you from the front and the side. And they can ask you what it's all about if they want. But yeah, uh, this guy, he says, should he spreader? Well, the spreader, you got to understand. And I've, I don't own this manure spreader or this, this litter spreader. Uh, this belongs to the composter. They gave it to me to use uh, and to maintain uh, and spread the compost that they're bringing to me for fertilizer. It's just, it has to be that way. You know, I need the, I need the fertilizer uh, and I need a way to spread it. And they were kind enough to help me out. Now, there's been a few problems with this machine. And it was explained to me that this machine was a demonstrator model that was demonstrated by the owner of the company's son, who decided that it would be a good idea to put cinder blocks or cement blocks or cement, yeah, cement blocks into the, the spreader and spread them as a demonstration, which explains a hell of a lot. It really does. The uh, the the fins, I wondered how the fins on the 
spinners had gotten bent back because they claim that this thing wasn't used really all that much and obviously it hasn't been used all that much it is a 2015 model and it just seems like you know it had some hard life in the short amount of time that it's been on you know been out in the field uh so that explained a lot so it wasn't the company that i'm borrowing it from it was the company that actually sold it to them at a re reduced rate obviously um, because it was a demonstrator model that they ran concrete blocks through. Now, I've seen these demonstrations in the past. Uh, I saw a guy throw a BMW or a Volvo car into one and run it through a vertical spreader, vertical beater spreader, manure spreader. And I was like, holy smokes, that, that's tough. That's hard on stuff. So, yeah, that, that machine is totally pooched. I mean, it would need all new gearboxes. I mean, the body of it would be fine. But, uh, hey, what model brother embroidery machine is this? Looking to start my own business, and I'd like to purchase this in the future. Uh, this is a PR650 and a PR655. I think this one's a 655 because it has the laser. Uh, if you're going to start your own business, I suggest you spend a little extra money and get the, uh, the, the what is it, the 10 needle machine? Or is that a 12 needle? I think it's a 10 needle machine. Beautiful machine. So I, I like them. Teresa runs them most of the time. So I, you know, I don't know. Teresa runs them all the time. I only do it when I have holes in my pants. And I should start embroidering my jeans just for the sheer luck and fun of it. Hmm. And uh, yeah, fixing stuff. All right. So. I don't know. I, I like reading questions and stuff like that. I'm not going to make this in a, a god awful long uh, video. Um, I know there's a lot of people. Well, yesterday's video, I was talking about the uh, the uh, the old cars and trucks, and the the cruel reality is that my channel is about farming and fixing stuff and breaking stuff and bailing stuff and planting stuff. And when it comes to the antique cars, classic cars and stuff, I really don't get the the views that. I would think that they I should get now that 41 Ford I have plans for that truck and because of the rain I may just start those plans um, Teresa wants a huckster truck where she can sell vegetables off the back of it uh, I personally would turn it into a, uh, a gypsy wagon and tour the country with it but you know again <laughs> a 1941 Ford pulling a gypsy wagon around I don't know anyway I like your car and truck videos. Well, thank you. I consider myself a pretty avid fan. So I just think it's damn funny that you mentioned several times a week that you don't, you can't do shit on account of rain. I mean, seriously, not a whole hell of a lot can go wrong with parked iron. You've pretty well rebuilt all your tractors in the last few years, and even ever since you switched to chrome balers, you haven't had to the need to post as many repair videos, which is true. Uh, we can touch on that crone baler or the crone balers. Crone balers are a, they're tough. I mean, probably, well, I don't want to say probably the best baler on the market. I want to say that they actually are the best baler on the market. Uh, I found the New Hollands to be just a complete letdown. I mean, complete letdown. This is like, let's, let's put it in, in terms that is kind of X-rated here. You know when you're in school and the hottest girl is walking down the hallway and all you want to do is you just you just want to, you know, horny young man, you want to just get that girl in bed, right? So she's the prettiest girl in, in, the, in the whole school. She's prude as hell, um, but, she, you know, she's drop-dead gorgeous and you just can't wait to give it to her. Uh, you finally, you woo her, you get her into bed, and it's like screwing a dead fish. That's what New Holland is, you know? It, that, that, that's what New Holland is. It's like... Taking the prettiest girl in school to bed and finding out that she doesn't know how to move. Uh, God, my mom, I hope you're not watching this. Anyway, sorry, mom. Uh, that's just an analogy that my friend Larry. <laughs> Larry. I love Larry. He's a funny guy. Uh, but he, he said that that's how his first wife was. And uh, unfortunately, he got her pregnant when he was 17 years old and had three children with her. He says, Wesley, that woman wouldn't move to save her life. The house could be on fire and she wouldn't move. That's how Larry was. But anyhow, enough talking like that. Sorry, kids. I, I, I x-rated this thing up a little bit. Okay. 
blah, 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 blah. One Lily Farmer, why do you do these videos? You're not showing us anything. I can just hear the comment section just rattling off, you know, or my children watch this. I'm going to have to unsubscribe because you used the sex word. You know, actually, I don't think I did use that word, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, God, I love, I love my viewers. I really do. I have all kinds, you know, and I will say this. I really love you guys because I have such a broad scope of viewership. Um, I have the trolls who are so dedicated to my channel, they never miss one. And they comment every single one, which is great, you know. And then I have the silent majority okay now the silent majority of my viewers aren't even subscribed they think it cost them something or something you know it is free to subscribe to this channel it will cost you nothing if you go up to the right hand side there's this little red box it said subscribe you click on that thing you're not going to get a bill in the mail your internet provider is not going to say oh my god you've subscribed to one lonely farmer here you need to give us 10 million dollars that's not going to happen and if you click the little bell you know and this is another thing because a lot of people like to watch my stuff and they have to search me every time because they're not subscribed if you click the little bell there's a notification thing there you go click notifications oh yeah when one lonely farmer uploads a video i can watch him yeah you can do that and it helps the channel and it also helps you know the the you know you to, to know when these things are going on i mean i didn't get that for nothing you know i mean i didn't get that that for nothing it's not fake it's real and uh, I enjoyed every moment almost every moment of my YouTube career to get that thing I mean it took longer than most because I am unrefined as Zach from the millennial the millennial farmer will say well Wesley you're just too unrefined you know I love it but you know what I've always been under the uh, well let's put it this way there's the law of diminishing return, okay? I I should say that my channel is a variety channel because I do everything from fixing, farming, shooting, and, well, I don't do too much shooting stuff anymore because of Gurgle. You know, Gurgle has a big problem with shooting videos and stuff like that, so I don't do that anymore. I used to blow stuff up too, but Gurgle really got crazy about that. They, like, report you to the ATF, and they go, knock, 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 hey, Mr. Pandy, you can't do that. Hmm. Okay, so I've seen this happen with many channels, the laws of diminishing return. I've been doing this for now over 10 years, over 10 years, which is, yay, 10 years. I didn't get a plaque from Gurgle saying, hey, congratulations, you've been a, you've been a creator for 10 years. No, no, no. That happened to the ones that signed up in 2005 and six. The guys that got in in 2008, sorry, you're too late for that. Which is fine. I'm okay with it. I don't need a, 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 a thing telling me, hey, you've been creating for 10 years. I don't need that. I don't need anything, really, honestly. I only do this for fun, and I enjoy every moment of it. This is going to get long. I'm sorry. Uh, so, yeah, so the law is a diminishing return. If you don't know what that is, it's like shooting a bullet. The faster, you, the faster bullet you shoot, the faster it slows down. Uh, inertia. Uh, if you take a an arrow and you shoot it into a bucket of sand, an arrow that's traveling at, say, 400 feet per second uh, goes actually fat farther through a five-gallon pail of sand than one that is going, say, 800 feet per second. Uh, and that's how I attribute a lot of these channels. And I've seen many, many channels that came on the scene, had a couple of really interesting videos, but then everything else was a repeat to try and get that high-viewed video that they got early in their YouTube career. They build a channel, you know, within a, two months, they're at 100,000 subscribers, and, and they're like, yay, I'm on top of the world! But then their 100,000 subscriber channel, or their 200, 300, 600,000 subscriber channel fails to get 10,000 views in a 24-hour period because they're, uh, they're, they're just like in the stalemate. They're not doing different things. 
Uh, and I'm not saying that's going to happen to the millennial farmer because he does put out good content. And the funny thing is, I haven't seen much come from him since Harvest stopped. So he's definitely doing some things other than YouTube, which is great. And he may very well say, hey, you know what? I had a good run on YouTube and it was great. And uh, I'm just going to slow down now because I got other things more important and better to do. I only do this as an outlet so I don't go insane. I really do. Uh, you know, this rainy weather, uh, a lot of guys are ready to string up a rope and jump from a bucket. <laughs> you know, put it around their neck and... <laughs> I just get on YouTube and say what I want to say. And if somebody's willing to listen, then there we go. Uh, there's a really good one. Uh, his name is Tucker Gott. Tucker Gott has a uh, paramotor. And I would like to do paramotoring. But... I decided against it because I'm 46 years old, not saying that my age has anything really to do with it, but I've just become a father again at age 46, and I'd like to have, uh, I'd like to be around for my son, William, you know, uh, it's, it's now, I was just starting to do things for myself, you know, like, hey, I raised my kids, you know, they're all adults now, and I still love them, and I still take care of them, you know, to some degree or not, and oh my God, my bushy, bushy eyebrows, um, the, uh, yeah, to, to some degree, Timothy still lives here with me, the other two are off with their mom, uh, looking to get out of there, which is, you know, that's their choice, they're both over, all three of them are over 18, uh, I'd like Timothy to get a little more responsible with his money because he could own a house with what he makes. By the time it's all said and done, he makes more than I do. You know, it's kind of crazy, uh, but that's just the way it is. You know, on paper, you know, I make pretty decent money, but I got a lot of bills to pay where he doesn't have those bills. I should start charging his ass rent. Um, but, yeah. Oh, man. So the law of diminishing return. So we got Zach's channel. Zach has been doing this for approximately, I think, two years. I think he's been doing it for about two years. His channel, he made some really good videos, uh, the farming videos, the, the harvesting. the And he's made some videos where he's done some questionable stuff, which I personally didn't agree with, even though I did mention it to him. Like, hey, uh, those are chemicals. No matter what it is, don't put your bare hands in there. It's not a good thing to do. And, uh, you know, I got the invincible answer. Oh, it's perfectly safe. I've been doing stuff like this forever. Yes, yes, you may have been. And those metals and those chemicals and those different chemistries are building up in your system and they don't clear out as good as you would like them to be clearing out. It's not like a sandwich you ate yesterday at noon comes out of your ass in the morning of the next day. That's not how chemicals work. Unless you're eating a lot of uh, charcoal and other things to, to force that shit through your system or whatever you're doing to purge your system. Uh, I don't see him doing that. So, but anyway, Zach's channel has grown rather rapidly. Now, I haven't watched his latest couple of videos because uh, they, they're, they're like becoming redundant, you know? It's like, okay, I do this stuff anyway, you know? I mean, not the stuff that Zach is doing, but in the past, when I was growing corn and soybeans, I was doing the same things. And, you know, yeah, different stuff, different strokes for different folks. I come home, I have the farming disease, I come home and I watch farming channels. Is there something wrong with that? Yes, yes there is. I am mentally unstable, I swear to God. Because I work all day and then I come home and I watch somebody else working doing a similar job that I just got done completing. You know, and that's cool. I have decided to watch a guy, it's called a foreigner farming in the Philippines. And that dude, if I had more hair, I would be ripping it from my, the roots of my head. He's entertaining to watch because it's just like, again, the invincible I know it all kind of an attitude. Now, I'm not saying that the millennial farmer is a know it all by no means. He's an ever learning individual and I enjoy watching his stuff. It's just these channels that grow so incredibly rapidly fast also die incredibly rapidly fast. Uh, now, I'm not saying that I'm better than anybody else because I am not. Believe you me, I am not better than anybody else. But I do provide a much broader paintbrush of what agriculture really truly is um, for the majority. Now, Zach is in a special class of his own not a class of his own but you know the the he is on i would say the higher end of the production scale 
uh, as far as agricultural products are, um, how they're produced today or how everybody would like farmers to produce. But unfortunately, regions, areas, and pressure, uh, residential pressures, will dictate how you become uh, that style of a farmer. So uh, my region, the row crops area here, or the row crops that were grown here, we have marginal soils with marginal pricing. Uh, so when you have marginal pricing, marginal soils are the first to go fallow and the first to get built up in the houses. And that's what has happened here in my area. I have to go farther than anybody on this on YouTube has any idea. I mean, I drive up to 45 miles away to make hay uh, because there's, you know, either farmers that aren't willing to do those marginal soils anymore, which I do okay with, with the, with the uh, mulch hay and stuff, but on grain, forget it. Uh, deer pressure. Deer pressure goes hand in hand with residential pressure because let's face it, the more houses you get, the less able to shoot deer in those areas you're you're allowed to do so that that becomes a problem uh but yeah uh tucker gotch channel you know he post he'd post a video and within 24 hours he'd have 150,000 views uh you know and then they would top off somewheres in that hundred you know 200,000 view uh in a week area now i watch his stuff i don't watch his stuff so much anymore because he is, and he's not far from me, believe me, believe it or not. He's flown over the farm several times. I've seen him. Uh, I had a video of a couple of his friends that he flies with that flew over the farm. And Timothy went up and, and flew around with a model airplane. Which I wanted him to land because I'd like to meet them. Because, let's face it, I love to fly. I th I'm interested in it. The only reason I'm not flying airplanes right now is because my Uncle Paul was killed in a small personal plane. And I'm thinking about getting back into that. Yes, yes, I have flown airplanes. Um, do I have a pilot's license? No, but I've taken them off the runway, and I've, I I was not allowed to land it. I can land an airplane. I can fly it. Um, you know, it's just the way it is. Uh, Paul was my uncle, and he showed me all kinds of crazy weird things with airplanes. Like, he was scared to death of heights. Didn't bother me any. But we would do stalls and stuff, and you could just see it in his face. He was scared to death of it, and it ultimately did kill him. But uh, I would actually like to uh, get my pilot's license. Uh, there's some things I'd like to like to do in this world, and one of them is fly over Ireland. I think it would be cool as hell to fly the coast of Ireland and the coast of England in a small aircraft. Um, yeah, I think that would be awesome as hell. I'd like to actually fly around uh, in the Philippines. You can rent airplanes in Clark Air Force Base as long as you've got a pilot's license. So I don't know how rich I have to be. I saw that uh, Avgas was like almost $5 a gallon, hmm. which really isn't too bad because gasoline just a few short Obama years ago was $5 a gallon. And uh, now I think they're just giving fuel away so that people can clog the roads and you can't even do any work. Yeah, so, but that's that's just about it. I've been yammering for 23 minutes here. Um, but, yeah, as far as a rewind video, I've got one of those. I do. I'll have to show it to you. And uh, that'll probably be on the first. It'll be a fairly short video. Uh, it's a rewind of 2018, um, probably better than Gurgle's uh, YouTube's rewind video. That was uh, that was a sick joke. If you know anything about Gurgle's or YouTube's rewind video, my paint drying video was more exciting than that. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah. Uh, so I guess that's it for today. If you wanted to watch, that's okay. If you didn't want to watch, I'm sorry you didn't want to watch, but... Uh, this is just the way it is. Um, got some good content coming today, though. I got a lot of things coming apart. Like that manure spreader is coming apart. I'm going to torch a bitch apart. And uh, I'm hoping I don't have to shovel it out. I really am hoping I don't have to shovel it out. But I'm going to pull that gearbox off of there and uh, get that shaft out. 
see if I can straighten out the chain. I have to loosen it at the front, pull it back, and then I'll be able to put the sprockets where they belong and blah, blah, blah. Uh, and you'll get to see that. So uh, stay tuned because today's the day. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. And uh, thanks for any of my new subscribers and any of the lurkers that are out there that are afraid to hit the subscribe button because they're afraid it's going to cost them money. Don't be afraid. Just hit the subscribe button and you'll get notifications if you hit the bell. Thanks again.